Hey, good looking. We are inviting you to join us on an awesome adventure to the coolest river in the Philippines. And that not all. We will also show you the amazing night light scene in Moabua. Are you ready? Let's go! <music> So this is uh, where we went to rent a scooter for the day, 300, which is more than we pay long term, but it's fine for one day, like five dollars and fifty cents. They, they make you use an ID. Uh, we have the we have our ACR card from when we were here last year, which is like a Philippine ID um, that you get after you've been here a couple months if you keep extending. So, Fair enough. Then when you open. Yeah. Gas tank and papers. Right. Please do take a quick video of the whole bike because uh, yeah. it damages yeah. So if something happens, I'm scratching the After the beach, you will find the left side. There are a lot of restaurants, dive center, shop for souvenir, massage center, and hotel. This part of town is where the real fun happens. There's so much to do and enjoy here for a weekend getaway. So we come here for breakfast. I think I want to get the big boy boom boom. <laughs> the, then we'll have egg <laughs> omelet. What's the big boy boom boom? Big? <laughs> and behind you, the painting is very nice. <laughs> that, so we know what the big boom is. Boom boom is now. <laughs> so this is my blue coffee. Come with the brown sugar and the milk. So we are here for the breakfast and I have one is a famous Filipino condi breakfast, 1 and 10. And then have an omelet. The omelets look good this time. Cooked with the tomato. But the painting behind her him is much more interesting. Try the beef first. Mm. Is it good? Very delicious. That's the British version of uh, the Spam. Mm. It's nice. Back in December 2021, there was a super strong typhoon named All That. It was like a big stone that hit the Philippines really hard, especially the center and the southeast island. It caused flood, storm, and really strong wind. Sadly, many people lost their life and their home when their village and town were destroyed. Even the famous place like Cebu and the cool Kawasa Fall got messed up. The waterfall used to look different in old picture because the typhoon changed it. The water is still pretty, but the fall and tree got damaged. Right now, in 2023, you cannot visit Kawasa Fall. The typhoon messed out the building and path, but the good news is you can still do the canal earring tour with a professional tour guide team there. You start high up and jump and slide down until you get to the awesome waterfall at Kawasafa. So no more waterfall sightseeing for now, but there's still fun stuff to do. Like taking a bunch of photos and swimming in the cool water river. Stay tuned on our next video about the canal earring in Kawasa Fall.
mountain water. <gasps> it's not deep, huh? My feet aren't on the ground. Oh, it's not that deep. Right here, I'm standing. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's going to the water before we go back. It's very cold water. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good. Ooh. One, two, three. Oh. But in the down is uh, hot. But up is cold, you know, the water. Maybe you have uh, some hot something here from here hot. I don't hot know. spring? I don't think so. I didn't feel it. I feel the hot, but yeah. top is cold, down is hot. I see. Oh, so nice. Well, we are coming from Moa Boa, and so we are taking a motorbike, which is 300 peso to here. Oh, it's a beautiful ride. And this water is really catch up eye. Very beautiful. This is a Gassiano uh, supermarket here in Moa Bowl. And we're gonna go in and check it out. We're riding motorcycles today, scooter, so I get goofy here. Well, my hair is always goofy, let's face it. Oh, Chung's already inside. The stairs are painted really cool, like a mural. Looks like a turtle on the stairs. Anyway, Chung's looking for a long sleeve shirt, so. Uh, she doesn't get sunburned when she's out swimming. Like this one. The sun's so strong that you need more than just sunblock sometimes if you're out a long time. How much? 355. Oh, not bad. What are they? But it's quite short. Yeah. It's quite short. It's too short for you, yeah. yeah. Kind of stuff and doing get day? Yeah, I have one, the pink color. I just don't like the pink color, that's all. You bought the one, the pink one in Dimmy yeah. Okay. You wanna look let's look at food a little bit, see what prices are. Yeah. This is all the vegetables they have. Fruits and vegetables because they don't sell any probably. The locals know not to buy here. They know to buy in the in the public market. So People come here for non-perishable stuff, like packaged goods and all that, which isn't all that's that healthy, let's face it. We're in a hostel because it's a private room hostel uh, because of course we need good internet but there's no other good internet in town here really. I guess if you get your own router it's much better. And now I'm looking for milk because we don't have a fridge, our own personal fridge, so we have to get little tiny milks like this because you can only use them for a day or two before they, they go rancid for your coffee. So, uh oh, I don't see it. Here's what I'm looking for, low fat small ones because they go bad in a day or two, maybe get three of them. Moa Boa is famous for its pretty beach and waterfront. After a sunny day by the sea, you can also enjoy some nightlife here. Let's see how much fun it is at night in Moa Boa, but before we dive in, let's talk about the dinner. Do 
this restaurant had a lot of choices on the menu. We ordered delicious squid and a vegetable curry with rice. The big beer is just 160 peso. Our night began with the cool live music right by the beach. This spot is amazing seen is right where the waves are. You can grab a big beer for 180 peso or $3.20. It is also a great place to watch the sunset while sipping on your cold beer. <laughs> Next up is a local spot without a name on the map. You will find it right after the first bar I mentioned. It is a karaoke place where you can just hang out and have a cheer time. The third bar is the ultimate fun spot in Moa Boa. It's like a grand finale for all tourists here. Everyone getting at this bar for a good time. The music is awesome and you can grab a small beer for just 95 peso or $1.68. If you are into dancing and people watching, this is a great place for you. It's where the party happens and everyone gets excited. If you're curious about how we got to Moa Boa, just click on the video in the top corner. Thanks a bunch for watching and giving us a thumbs up. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.